Welcome to Arrow Nicely News, everybody. We have a great episode for you today. I sit down with Arrow's very own wellness analyst, Derek Harris, who started with us at a community 10 years ago as an overnight nurse. Now, he is a prime example of a person who has used our employee tuition reimbursement program to further his education. Wait a second, Arrow will pay for your schooling? Yes. Yes, it will. Derek went from being an LPN to an RN to getting his bachelor's of science in nursing to graduating recently with his master's in business administration. Ooh, 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 we definitely gonna talk to him about that. It's Friday, y'all, August 6th. Let's go. Eric Harris, hello, hello, hello. Hi, hi, hi. Uh, welcome to Arrow Nicely News. Finally, we get you on as a as a person of interest. Well, hello everyone, Derek Harris. Um, I first became a nurse back in 2010. I was a licensed practical nurse or LPN originally, and I started working with Arrow Senior Living in January of 2011 as a night nurse at a community in the St. Louis area. I always wanted to become a registered nurse, but honestly, I just fell in love with my job and with the residents uh, while working as a night nurse at that community. And so it definitely took a while for me to go back to school, but eventually I did. I became a registered nurse several years later in 2017. And then I thought, well, why don't I get a bachelor's degree? Let's take it up another notch. So in 2019, I got my bachelor of science in nursing. And then I thought, hey, um, let's take it another step. How about a master's degree? That sounds like fun. So I got my master's in business administration and healthcare management earlier this year. Um, don't know why I went back to school during a pandemic, but it just sounded like a really good idea at the time. And I'm so glad I did. You're just like, I want to keep going to school. I became a professional student. I, I guess I like to learn. <laughs> How on earth did you pay for all that schooling? Unfortunately, Aero Senior Living offers a wonderful tuition reimbursement program, and I will give myself credit for taking great advantage of that program. And in fact, I was able to keep my out-of-pocket expenses incredibly low. Um, in fact, one of my degrees, my master's degree, I don't believe I out-of-pocketed a penny by the time I was reimbursed by Aero Senior Living. So you can't beat a free master's degree. You just can't. If everything is approved by the company, so if, you're, uh, if you've are if you been an employee for the uh, correct amount of time and depending on what you're going back to school for, then you're allowed to spend a certain amount of money each year on continuing education or going back to school. So the way I timed out all three of those degrees was I split it between two years. And if you get two reimbursements, then you could have your tuition paid in full. You have to be a regular full-time or part-time employee, been employed for a minimum of 90 days, uh, meet the performance expectations of your current position, and uh, just be in, in good standing. The program, the educational program has to meet both align with your needs and the company's needs. I think that a lot of people wondered why I didn't go for a master's in nursing. Um, why would I do business administration? And one of the great things is uh, definitely business is a skill that everyone should have some understanding of. And to be honest, I just felt so comfortable in nursing and with my nursing knowledge that it just made sense when going back to school. I thought, well, what do I really need to learn more about? And it, I was definitely feeling blessed that I was able to be approved for the tuition reimbursement and be able to go after this degree program that I was really wanting to do. I, I didn't have to stay in just one select educational realm. So that was really great to me. Well, what is really unique and fun about your Aero journey is that you started at a community as a... Uh, as a night nurse. I was as a, a night nurse. Yes, yep. as an overnight nurse. And where, what is your position now? What is your official title now? 
I work in the analytics department. So I uh, technically I'm a wellness analyst and what I do every day is uh, I take data from various sources and we review that and then we use it to be able to make better decisions either for the future or to better understand our residents' needs and what it takes to give proper care to our residents. And so that's where you started and this is where you're at now. Tell us a little bit of all the different things I know you've done for Arrow in between. It would probably be good, yeah, if I gave you a little bit of uh, how did I get from A to Z. <laughs> so started as a night nurse, loved it, did that for a while. I moved into a care coordination type of position where I was supporting the wellness director. Um, eventually, I became a director of wellness when Arrow Senior Living opened up a brand new community in Springfield, Missouri. And actually, backtrack before that, I spent a few months helping out in sales. Um, I went to a community that Arrow was helping in Illinois and spent a little bit of time there. Uh, so then I was working as a director of wellness. Um, then, so before moving into analytics, I accepted a position on Arrow's regional wellness team. So in that, I was helping to open up brand new communities. I was helping to support the wellness directors at all of our locations. Did that for several years. And then I, had, I, I always had a love for technology and data and things like that. And I was fortunate enough to have my current position become available. And of course, I took it late last year. And that's where I've been for since then. So it's almost been 10 years, I guess, you know. Yeah, from if we go all the way from A to Z, it's been quite that long. Uh, what's been one of your favorite things over the years working with Arrow? Favorite things? Opening brand new communities uh, has definitely been a labor of love. It is a monumental project, but seeing everything that so many different people do, uh, you know, working independently and as a group together, to open up something. It's definitely, these. those are the largest projects I've ever worked on. And they're definitely the most rewarding to be able to sit back and have so many communities that are now open and realizing, well, you know, we, we were there uh, back when it was just, uh, the building was sticks, it was just wooden and we were there for the grand opening. And uh, so to see that timeline is so amazing. That's definitely been some of my best memories for sure. Is there something that you would, you know, like potentially like give advice to, or somebody's on the fence about like be becoming a nurse or even applying at one of our communities to do staff as a, a to give care to residents? Is there somebody, uh, or, or is there something that you would say to them? Absolutely. I, I think that if anyone is on the fence about say joining the healthcare world in general. So if we start with that, whether they're aspiring to become a nurse or aspiring to become a care partner or a server or any of any other of our positions, I just would tell them, I mean, the reward that you get by improving the lives of our residents, it, it's almost hard to explain until you're actually there in the flesh and experiencing it, but you really do become family with the residents. I would say those relationships, uh, I still remember so many people who probably wouldn't remember me today, but uh, they made such an impact on my life and a lot of lessons learned from our residents and them sharing their experiences. It's been amazing. And I would say for anyone who's wanting to become a nurse specifically, I would say, just look at my journey. Even if you're really not sure what kind of nurse you want to be, just think of what all is available to you and, and how many different layers there are, whether you want to work in management, whether you want to work in analytics, uh, whether you want to be a wellness nurse or a floor nurse and interact directly with residents all the time. I mean, there's no wrong answer or there's no wrong path. I think everyone has an individual um, pathway that they'll follow, or you might be like me and you're just not sure what you want and you've just kind of done a little bit of everything over time. I, I think that's the beauty of nursing is just how many doors really do open up for you. And I definitely compliment Arrow Senior Living for embracing that as well and allowing nurses such as myself 
to be able to move on and on and on and trying all these different experiences and learning all these wonderful new things. Show us that tie. The tie. The tie. All right. Look at these. This is Derek's journey through Arrow Senior Living. So, and I don't know how easy it is to see, but I take great pride in up top LPN, licensed practical nurse, Registered Nurse RN, BSN, so Bachelor of Science in Nursing, and then, of course, the MBA, Master of Business Administration. So I save these. I treasure them. If I could wear them all daily, I would, but I might get funny looks. Take pride in your journey because I've learned so much along the way that none of these name tags are really replaceable in any way. They've all just build upon each other. Derek, anything else that you would like to share um, with the Aero Nicely News uh, community, the people who watch the show? My piece of advice to everyone, whether you're just getting started with Aero or if you're at a point where you're looking for another path in your career, just know the sky's the limit that you've got amazing opportunities with Aero Senior Living, not just as an employer if you're looking to join, but also there's always a path of places to go and things to do. So just know you think of what you want and then just help yourself get there. And definitely the tuition reimbursement, um, utilize it. I have, um, just, just do it. That's, that's what you got to do. Just got to start somewhere. Derek Harris, thank you so much. Thank you. Now, if you or someone you know is interested in a career in senior living, go to the website whatseniorlivinglookslike.com to check out our open positions. But if you are a current employee and you want to know more about our tuition reimbursement program, go talk to your BOD. Seriously, go talk to them. Everybody's journey is different. Just look at Derek's. Well, that'll do it for today's episode. Y'all have a great weekend, and we will see you next Friday for Arrow Nicely News' 100th episode. It's next week. We've done 100 of these, so don't miss it. <laughs>